What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be playing a game with Luka Doncic. I'm sorry about my voice, I just, I've been in bed sick all day, and it's the reason why there's only one video out today. Hopefully I will, I know today was meant to be a day I got back on track, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get two videos out. It's just unfortunate that, well, I'm just not in a great way, just have been in bed sick all day, and it's now currently, it's 11, it's 11 p.m. here, and it's the first time I've been out of bed all day, just to make this video. So... I honestly don't know how the game's gonna go. It's the first time I played in a new patch, but she just never know. Sometimes, um, hopefully, it's some beginner's luck. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be using the new Luka Doncic, the diamond card. And the team we're running up is Luka Doncic, Clay Thompson, Scotty Pippen, Anthony Davis, and Ralph Sampson. I honestly have no idea what the new patch is like, so I'm still gonna remember my base 11 bench 5 of Arenas, Hedo, uh, Danny Granger, Kurlanko, and Gugliana. But to be completely honest, with the whole new track and test patch, I have no idea how good this lineup is going to be. We still do have Brandon Roy, Yanis, and Ilgowskis to round off the bench. And these guys, no matter what patch comes out, these still should be great cards. But um, let's go over the stats for Luka Doncic now. He is 6'7". He's apparently a small forward. Even though, to be honest, Luka Doncic, I don't even know what position he plays. He has the ball in his hands most of the time. He's a primary ball handler. And the position as basketball doesn't really matter what position. So I'm going to play him a point guard. 98 offense, 88 defense overall. He's got one um, Hall of Fame badge, difficult shots. 14 gold badges, including hustle rebounder, dimer. Well, I might play him at... No, actually, no. I'm not going to play him a power forward. He has got 95 driving layup, 96 shot mid, 84 shot three. So not too bad shooting wise anyway. 83 throws all right. Decent enough driving dunk. Great ball and drop 90. Got insane passing stats. Finally, they have a Doncic good passing stats. He's got um, good rebounding stats. He's got really good speed, speed ball, and acceleration. Good enough lateral quickness. Good on ball defense of IQ. Terrible low post defense of IQ. This guy's actually a beast. Dungeon should not be this fast, though. Like, this is a little bit ridiculous. But goal difficult shots, insane ball control, great passing stats. He might actually be a beast. I assume he does have goal timer. This would be a little bit ridiculous if he doesn't. Yeah, he has goal timer. So he should be really, really nice to play at the point guard position. So anyway, yep. That is the stats for Doncic. Now let's go over his hot zones, then we're going to get on to the game. So Doncic has got hot zones pretty much everywhere inside the three and a couple of spots outside the three. His release is, I mean, this is probably the same as his other cards. I actually haven't used Doncic too much at all this year. He seems like he steps a little bit in on his jumper, which is a little bit annoying, but that should be grand, hopefully. But um, yeah, it should be quite a good card. Hopefully the leaner is good. Okay, that actually looks like quite a decent enough leaner. Which means that having Hall of Fame difficult shots, he should be able to get a shot off quite easily. He actually seems to get a lot of separation on that. So them shots should be quite decent ones to take. Pull up jumper should be quite good. I'm assuming he is an alright dunker, as in like if he goes in, he will dunk it. But he's not going to do anything major. Yeah, it's Luka Doncic. His fadeaway animation is actually quite good. And yeah, he should be actually just a really, really nice card. Just really solid. I don't think he's going to be like a game breaking card or anything. But considering Luka Doncic is one of, in general, just my just favorite players in real life, I'm hoping that he does end up just being a really good card in game. Because I don't think we're going to get a much better version of Luka Doncic at any stage this year than this 95 overall one. So anyway, now it's just green one three. And come on, it's full white. Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against... Well, he has Larry Johnson, so he's going to be a decent enough player. But I don't think it's probably the best squad. 81 overall, so he's probably just doing some overall lowering by making the squad worse. But um, hopefully this is a good enough game. All right, let's go. So he's off balance, so this might be a little bit tricky, especially with the whole new shot contest thing. Right away, good shot, Doncic. Unlucky. Go past the Scotty. Green light. Let's go. All right, big stop need here. Dale Ellis at times just doesn't miss. Let's go straight to the basket. Let's go. Good job, Luka Doncic. I, this is genuinely the first game I played since the patch, so I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what it's gonna be like. Hopefully, it's still. Hopefully, my tactic of play still works because I literally just have one single tactic, and if it doesn't work, I'm screwed. Hopefully, I'll be all right. Let's go some lob cheese, or just burn them, or lose the ball somehow. Easy layup. There we go. Good job, Doncic. I'll pull up a tree. Good shot. There we go. Great shot, Luka Doncic. Hall of Fame difficult shots didn't work right there. He got seven early points, three or five in the field. He's doing really, really well. This is a really, really nice card. So Doncic from mid. Good shot. There we go. 
he's having a really, really nice game so far. And, oh my, I know for a fact my voice sounds absolutely awful in this video, so I'm sorry for that, but, hey, at least I'm getting a gameplay out. But, uh, yeah, this is a little bit annoying. I've literally been out of bed for 15 minutes today, and that's like 15 minutes that I've started recording this. Okay, let's go. Put the hook. Shot Samson. Oh, that's a bad miss. That's a really bad miss. There we go. That's open. Oh, that's another bad miss, Doncic. Let's just hack. Just hack and get subs. That's two really bad misses there. He's now 4 of 10. He went 3 of 5. He's 4 of 10. He's won one of his last five shots. I'm jumping straight to the basket, and that's an easy dunk. Got him straight to the basket, and easy dunk. So he can't stop us. He can't stop us at all with this lineup. The Doncic has really struggled. He had a great like first two minutes, and he has really, really struggled since then. Steal Davis. Let's go. Good shot, Green. Let's go. Doncic now twelve points and assist. Not the worst stat, but still not great. Straight to the basket. Great job drawing a foul. Good job, Doncic. It's knocked down these free throws. I think it's free throw range in the 80s anyway. I think it's quite good. Yeah, 80 exactly. So it's not incredible, but it is not a bad free throw release by any means. Let's knock this one down. There we go. 2-2. Two two. Let's go. Good D. Toss it up to Karolenko with the dunk. Let's go. He's at 18 points. We are very, very comfortable right now. Wide open El Gauskas, green light. Let's go, leads now up to 19, double scores. We are beating this guy very, very handily. Let's steal Giannis. Pull up for two, green light. What patch? What, what shooting patch? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not in any contest shot, I'm literally just hitting. That's a really bad shot there. There's a seven foot three guy in the general area, do not shoot that. That is the dumbest shot I think I've ever shot. Doesn't really matter. We have 21 points in the second quarter. Did we get a layup there? Good job. I'm one Doncic. Let's go. It's a really nice play there. Doncic now with 18 points and assist. And make that 90. Or missed the free throw. Damn. We'll toss it up. See what happens. What a pass by Doncic. What a pass by Luka Doncic there. Lead is now 22. Back to double scores. Toss it up to Davis. Gets the dunk. Let's go. I'll toss it up again to Ralph Sampson with the dunk. Let's go. It's like the third quarter. Doncic, he's just stopped scoring. He's gotten three alley-oops, three lobs. He's been showing, well, that he's a passer as well. Could be as well. It is Luka Doncic. That's pretty much what he was known for before he came into the NBA. And he's finally starting to show some of that passing and not turn the ball over as much as he was at the start of the year anyway. And by that, I meant goal limitless. Obviously, I made... If you guys watch my videos, I don't know how. I do not know how. I always mix up Hall of Fame and gold. Doesn't make any sense, but I always do it. Good shot, Doncic. Let's go. Okay, he's got playmaking, shot creating, takeover. That's actually quite a decent takeover to have. I wish I had better dribble moves. If he has better dribble moves, this would literally be an anchor breaker every time, but unfortunately, I'm really bad at them. So just going back to normal tactic with just some slightly more fadeaways being shot. <laughs> Good shot there, Doncic. Deal. Good job, go get it. To Luca. Easy lap. Let's go. Luca's actually doing really well on defense for some reason. Like, Oscar Robertson may not be the best card in the game, but it's by no means a bad card. And Luca Donch is completely locking him down. He feels like really fast. He's gotten a good few steals, and he actually feels really, really good in defense. I don't know why. Like, for me, it's like defensive stats don't even matter. Sometimes this cards with low defensive stats to feel like they lock people down. And then this guy's a high defense stats that don't defend at all. Thank God Luka Doncic is uh, the former, not the latter. Great fadeaway three there by Doncic. And he's now at 27 points. Roll, 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 or pop. Good shot, Davis. Green light. Nice assist there from Doncic. He's now got 27, 1, 4. Let's go. Big stop. Well, I'm saying big stop, but it doesn't make any difference. We've won this game very, very comfortably. Regardless of what happens in the next like, two or three minutes. Ball up. It's a good shot, Doncic. In the basket, what a layup. What a layup by Doncic. Let's go. 33, 
one and four, not a bad showing, and there's still another minute to go. We can probably end up scoring more. And steal. Let's go, Scotty. On the floor, straight to Luka Doncic. Fakes him up, and Luka Doncic makes a layup. Good pass. It was good. And Scotty, Scotty with the dunk. So got a takeover, but it's a little bit too little, too late from drop 40. 35, 1 and 5. Not a bad showing at all by Doncic. So in the end, Luka Doncic had 35 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Unfortunately, he had 3 turnovers as well. 15 of 25 in the field. However, in the second half, he went 9 of 12 in the field with 19 points, 4 assists, 2 steals, 1 rebound, which is nice. First half, he was 6 of 13 with only 16 points. Really, really good second half there by Doncic. So anyway, that's the video. Luka Doncic is a really, really good card. Like, a lot better than I expected. At the point guard position, he's better than almost any actual point guard. For some reason, he just feels like he's locked down on defense. And to be completely honest, like I did not expect this Doncic to be nearly, nearly this good this year. This card is so, so good. Like Doncic is just incredible. While I wouldn't put him in the elite tier of players, he definitely is one of the stronger players in the game. And he's a guy who is 100% usable in God squads. If, if you're like me and Doncic is your favorite player, um, Doncic is literally my favorite player since Real Madrid. I was like the very first YouTube hype guy on Doncic. And if you don't believe me, look at like the B-Ball Day, the YouTube channel. I was like the first person to be making Doncic videos in like the start of 2017. But um, I honestly think I might just keep him a small forward in my God squad because he shoots really well. He plays good defense. He passes the ball well and is just a really, really nice card in game. And he's good enough that he can hold his own in God squad. While I wouldn't put him in the top like three or four small forwards in the game, I honestly, no word of a lie would say he's similar enough standard to like LeBron or Kevin Durant. And I don't think that's too much of a bold statement to make because they're both, they're all 95 overalls. Regardless of whether one's LeBron and one's Durant and one's name is Luka Doncic, they're all 95 overalls. They've all got similar enough stats. And I just think Doncic's animations, as well as the fact he's Hall of Fame difficult shots, which is a really, really good bench to have, other, and they do this all, I think, have tired of score, just makes Doncic that a little bit better. So anyway, yep, that is the video. Doncic is a beast. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really, really sorry about my voice. Hopefully it's okay tomorrow. I just have literally been in bed like pretty much 23 of the last 24 hours, and I just haven't feeling well at all. So anyway, yep, that's the video. Thanks for watching.